Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create melting text animation without using any third party plugins. It will be very interesting video for all of you. You can use this kind of effect for logos also. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects, and let's get started. Alright, let's create new composition as usual with some basic setting. Give it a name you like. Before moving forward to the video, hitting the subscribe button will be awesome. Also, hit the bell icon for all the latest updates. First create a new solid layer. Let's call it Fractal. Background color can be anything. Then go to Effects and Presets, and search for Fractal Noise. Apply on the layer. First change the Fractal Type to Threads. Change the Contrast Value to 70, and Brightness Value to minus 30. Open Transform, and change the Scale Value to 70. Now. Hold ALT plus click on this stopwatch icon of the offset turbulence to add an expression. Now type this expression. By doing this it will keep moving over time. Just like this. Now we need add one more expression on evolution. Hold ALT plus click on this stopwatch icon, and type this expression. After all it should look like this. Change the complexity value to 1. Let's go to effects and presets, and search for extract. Double click to apply it on the layer. Now change the black point value to 45. and black softness value to 25. Now search for another effect, called Echo. Double click to apply this on the layer. Change the Echo Time too. And number of echoes to 7. Now search for level, and apply it on the layer. Change the channel to alpha, and crush these both points to the center, just like this. If we enable transparency, it should look like this. Now pre-compose this layer, and give it a name. Also check move all attributes. Now go to project window, and create a new composition. Give it a name. Take the type tool, and type a text you like. Adjust the text size and position a little bit. Also align it to the center. Change the text color you like. Then pre-compose the text layer. Select the layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate of this layer. On the bottom layer, we are going to add some effects. Go to Effects and Presets, and search for Simple Choker. Double click to apply it. Change the choke mat value to minus 80. Also apply drop shadow effect on this layer. Let's hide the layer for now. Now bring the fractal composition on the timeline, and place it on the top of all layers.
Go to Effects and Presets, and search for Fill, and apply it on the layer. Now change the fill color to same as text color. Then apply drop shadow effect on it. Change the shadow color to a darker tone of this text color. Then search for set matte, and apply it on the layer. Change the matte layer to bottom layer. Now you can see the melting effect on the text. Let's create a new solid layer for background. Apply fill effect to change its color. Choose a color you like. Now create an adjustment layer and apply Gaussian blur effect on this layer. Change the blurriness value to 4. Then apply level on this layer. Change the channel to alpha, then crush these both points on the center. Adjust the blurriness value a little bit. Let's add some shake effect on the text, so we can show the heat effect on the text layer. Go to effects and presets, and search for rough and edges. Apply it on the layer. Change the scale value to 130. Now add a keyframe on evolution. Go to 1 1 second, and change its value to a high value, then go forward to 1 more second, and copy and paste the first keyframe here. Hold Alt plus click on this stopwatch icon of evolution to add an expression. Then type this expression. So the text keeps shaking like this over the time. Now the melting effects looks more realistic. Create another adjustment layer. Go to effects and presets, and search for turbulence displace effect, and apply it on the layer. Change the amount value to 2. Now add similar keyframes like we did previously. Then hold Alt plus click on this stopwatch icon to add an expression. Type this expression. By doing this, whole composition will get a shaking animation, or you can say boiling animation. Now it looking much better. Create another adjustment layer. And apply noise effect on it. Increase the noise value a little bit. If you want to add more melting elements, go to Project Panel, and make a duplicate of this fractal composition. Place it like this. Copy all the effects from this layer, and paste it on the new fractal layer. Then just drag down this layer a little bit, so the melting elements can come out of the text.
you can always change complexity of this layer, to get different melting effect for different layers. So play with the values to create something more interesting. So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and get something new from it. Thank you for watching, see you guys in the next video. Till then have fun, and stay safe.